So Apple Watches after the Apple Watch Series 2 come with a feature called Water Lock. And what this feature does is you can actually lock the screen of your Apple Watch so that if you ever go swimming or if you're ever going to participate in an activity where your Apple Watch is going to get wet, it's going to lock the screen of your Apple Watch because the screen is sensitive to water and it can make it select things on the screen that you may not want it to select. So what the water lock will do is it will lock the screen so that water doesn't affect your screen in any way when you go swimming. The other thing that water lock will do is that once it's deactivated, the speakers located inside the Apple Watch will begin to vibrate, releasing any water that might be stuck inside the Apple Watch. So another thing may be that you might have activated water lock by mistake and you're having a little bit of trouble getting out. Well, it's actually super simple. The way you activate and deactivate water lock is really simple. Once you have your Apple Watch on, all you have to do is hold on the bottom of the screen until the control panel appears. And if you scroll towards the bottom, you're going to see a small water droplet. Well, you're going to select that and that will automatically activate the water lock for you. And once you're ready to deactivate it or turn it off, all you have to do is rotate your digital crown and you're going to notice the water drop getting bigger. So just keep rotating it enough to where it will say unlocked and you will feel a slight vibration. And that's the speaker actually releasing the water that was left over inside your Apple Watch. All right, everyone. So that was just a quick video letting you know what water lock on your Apple Watch does and how to enable or disable it. So if this video helped you out, give it a like. And that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, peace.